all right guys so i have a quick um video to share with you and then the, the reason why i'm making this video is simple all right happy weekend to you all greetings wherever you are i am still talking about what is going on still telling you what is trending in nigeria all right so um this is uh peter will be at mbc i know a lot of you will be wondering what is peter will be doing at mbc actually he went to sympathize not only ken namadi and um, also with the maker head yoha now the reason why i'm making this video is simple for many people that criticizes uh, peter will be in one way or the other it's simple now namadi is um i think apc yeah if i am not mistaken and the maker head yoha is pdp yeah i'm not mistaken for that one and peter will be his labor party i don't know if you guys I've gotten the picture of what I am trying to say. So I keep saying it time without number that if we look beyond political party affiliation, I believe Nigeria will be 10 steps ahead, like seriously. And also if we look beyond ethnicity, yeah, if we look beyond ethnicity as well, Nigeria will be 10 steps ahead as well. And if we look beyond religion, Yes, Nigeria will be 10 steps ahead. So these are the three things these people who call themselves Kabaos are using as a divided, I don't know how to put it, okay? They are using it to, you know, bring enmity between, as in with Nigerians so that they can have their way to manipulate Nigerians the way they want. Yes. Now, Peter B, they had to doctor them um, during that uh, campaign, presidential campaign. They had to doctor a video of Peter B calling Oyedepo, talking about religious war. And they had to capitalize on that. I don't know if you guys understand. They have to capitalize on that particular statement, religious war. Now, new Kano state governor had to demolish uh, Ganduje's uh, runabout. And when they asked him, why did you do that? That is that costs a lot of money to build that runabout. Guess what that man said? He said because Ganduje's runabout have um, a cross, half cross in it. What are you saying? I don't even. Ganduje is not a Christian, but the man because he did what he did and also want to justify what he did. He said because that runabout Ganduje built half cross. Is that an excuse? That is, it's not an excuse. So they were always used for one thing or the other. It, it may be from maybe religion, ethnicity, and then the, um, you know, what else, political party affiliation. Now, another typical example. Um, this person, Tenebo has sacked um, Bawa, or that is former um, EFCC chairman, and also sacked um, this man, the MFL. Now, let me tell you the truth. If Peter Obi was the one that sacked Bawa, do you know what could have been their excuse or what they would have talked about if it was Peter Obi? Maybe let us assume eventually Peter Obi was declared the president and, you know, Peter Obi seeing all those um, weighty allegations against Bawa and then decide to take action, maybe sack him from office. Do you know what they would have said? They would say, yeah, it is a fight between the Igbos and the North. Yes, that will be their statement. But look at this. Peter B is a Labour Party. It's from Labour Party. And then um, Ken Namadi, APC, a mega head of her PDP. But Peter B visit them. And what are they going to They are not criticizing this one. They will not. Now, can you now see the difference? The difference is clear. All right, um, I didn't want to talk much. I quickly wanted to show uh, Peter B. at NBC uh, attending uh, a funeral ceremony, both the Mecca Hedio and um, Ken Namadi. All right, if you have anything to contribute, put it down in the comment section below. <laughs> My president is here, live at UBC. My president, my president, my president, my president, my president. My president. My president.